Um, good mo- uh, hello everybody. Okay, I'm Mr. Yi. I'm Mr. J. Okay, so today we are going to demonstrate to you the 2018 science physics paper. Okay, so I'm sure many of you have your papers with you. The objective of this experiment is as, as follows. We want to determine the mass of a test tube and the density of a sample of oil. Right, so if you all refer to your papers, right, the instructions are given as below. Right, so if you can, take a few minutes to go through the instructions. Okay, so A part one, one, two, and three. All right, so I'm going to demo to you the first part. Okay, A, one, one. All right, we're going to add 30 cm cube of oil to the 50 cm cube measuring cylinder using a dropper. And this dropper is actually labeled A. All right, so we're supposed to level at the 30 cm cube mark. All right, so let's have a look. All right, so we have prepared. Uh, this 50 cm cube, you'll notice that the amount of oil is a little greater than 30. Okay, so at this point, you need to use the pipette label A, right? And you want to pipette off until it reaches it's exactly 30, right? So this is what I'm going to do. Right, so you will see that it's exactly 30 cm cube. Mr. J, what do you think? That was good to me, Mr. E. Okay, 30 cm cube. And so once you are done, I put it there. And we make sure pipa A is still there because you'll be using it later. Right, don't discard it. Right, let's now look at the second instructions. Mr. J, please just tell us what we're supposed to do. But yeah, so basically, we are now um, we have to add 70 cm cube of tap water to the 100. Um, CM cube measuring cylinder and it's already prepared. Okay, so this is our 100 CM cube measuring cylinder and the water you notice that it's about something greater than 70. A little bit more 73 maybe. Yeah, 73 thereabouts. Okay, so now please note you are supposed to use keypad D, right? And you want to try to get uh, exactly 70, right? So this is exactly what I'm going to do. What do you think we should look up for, Mr. J? Oh, you should see that the meniscus of it, basically the center of that water, mm. reaches number 70. Yes, that's right. Any other errors you need to take note of? Uh, I am. Our parallax errors. Which uh, uh, is right. exactly uh, at eye level. Right. So I would suggest this is a way to do it. But alternative, alternatively, what you can do is you can sit it on a bench and then you, you lower your eye to the cylinder. That will also work. That sounds good. Yeah, so you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> right, up to you. Okay. Step three, what's going on? You notice that on the apparatus here we have a pair of twistles. Okay. So just a point to note at the start of the experiment they will ask you to check our apparatus, so make sure everything is there. So in this case uh, they, you need to have a pair of twistles. And you are supposed to lower this test tube into the hundred cm cube measuring cylinder using these two cells and please take note, it says that no water should enter the test tube. Alright, so let's do it. So I prepared here a clean um, mesh, a clean test tube. Right, I'm going to lower into my uh, measuring cylinder. So I'm supposed to do it carefully because it says that no water should enter the test tube. So this is what I'll do. Okay, right, so this is actually how it should be done. No water should enter the test tube, right, so you should see something like this. Okay, what's the next step, Mr. J? So now we're going to use the pipette to actually put um, one cm cube of oil from the cylinder over here into the test tube. Okay, great, let's do that. So again, please take note, you should be using pipette A, right, as stated in the instructions. You want to take one cm cube from here, Okay, so this is exactly what I'm going to do, 1 cm cube. Right, so you should half squeeze the pipette again. Then you put it into the test tube. Alright. Okay, so I'll replace my pipette A first. 
Okay, great. So that's actually the first part of the experiment. What are the readings you are supposed to take, Mr. J? Oh, the first one is the water reading. Okay. Now that the oil has dropped into the test tube, the water should have risen. Let's take a look. Okay, so why is the reading? I think. I'll grab the. Okay, right. so why is the reading? So you notice that what I'll do is <coughs> I'll lower myself down to, make, to reduce whatever parallax errors. And it's actually about. I think I got a 90. 90, yeah, 90. Alright, I agree. 90, thank you, Mr. J. 90. Right, so we'll just put it on the table there, 90. Alright. You'll notice that, Mr. J, we ran it to 90.0. Wow, why is that? Oh, it's because <laughs> they did tell us to record to the 0 0.5 cm cube mark. Okay. So that's an easy one. Mm. Also, for our oil reading, um, what happened is that it dropped from um, 30 to about 29. So, we'll, re we'll record over here, 29.0. And because we added 1 cm cube of oil in there, so we write down here that it's 1.0. And there you have your first reading. Okay, easy? Not too bad, right? That was pretty easy. Okay, so after that, we will continue the rest of our experiments as follows. Uh, so we're supposed to repeat step 5a part 1. Where is 5a part 1? 5a part 1 is this one. Right? Adding four separate portions of oil to the oil already present in the test tube. So again, you repeat the process. Please take note using pipette label A. Right? So you continue to drop uh, one cm cube of oil into the uh, test tube and then you repeat your readings by uh, recording in the table right. and after that you proceed to draw your graph mm, I think that's it okay so thank you all every everyone for watching okay and see you bye bye bye